Hi, this is the uh, the Crazy Joe Show dot com. www dot the Crazy Joe Show dot com. We got six shows up there for your viewing, ple- uh, well, listening pleasure. Please check out my six shows up there, and uh, I have an email address up there if anybody wants to give me feedback. Anyway, uh, in our Last video, we were in relatively good spirits because the last couple days were uh, nightmares. There was a place I was going to take today, today, and within 24 hours, both apartments were snatched up like that, and that's how bad, gentif- see, I, I talked about gentrification. I hate gentrification. And I hate these young millennial scumbag cocksucker motherfuckers. And the hipster dipster, uh, hipster dipsters, uh, yuppie puppies, rapper crappers, Becky girls, lesbians, homosexuals, and bleeding heart liberals. But I guess I'll just keep that to myself, right? Anyway... I, uh, I'm in much better spirits today than I was when the last time I did a video. I'm still a little down, a little depressed. I have every right to be depressed. But I hope without a doubt that I will be that I will have the place and that uh, they'll prove it and I'll have a, a new home because all I want to do right now people is I want to do the Crazy Joe show and but you know I want to do it when I'm settled in Listen, can I just be honest with you? I hate what I'm going what I'm going to go through. I've done it several times already. I I I I once rented a place for about 23 years. I had a great landlord and the place was practically mine. I actually even put some work into it because I had an inheritance and you know, I had the money and why not? I did it. Um I really hate going through this right now. Uh, you know, the actual process of moving and packing and breaking down all my stuff. I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. The only reason I look content and with a little bit of a smile is the last three days from hell where I was going to get a place uh, already to put a deposit on it and everything, and it was taken. It was just snapped up. Because I wasn't sure if the place that I was going to take was really in my best interest. It was a small place. Uh, and I can't have a... It was a studio. And I, I can't have a studio apartment with all the equipment I got and a little bit of furniture that I have. So that... That in itself was not going to do me uh, was not going to do me justice. Wow. I hate having to leave after you you know you set yourself up here if. Uh, it's very depressing. I have to make a diagram of all my wiring and everything like that. You know, excuse me. Listen. 
I know my videos may be boring to some of you or all of you. But what you have to understand, people, is that this is real life. I'm not here to dance around and uh, entertain anybody. I'm not here. That's why, you know, to entertain people, jump up and down like James Brown and make a fucking complete fool of myself. You know, I'm an older guy. It doesn't mean that I'm old and fuddery. I'm not. I'm actually a very hip guy from my age. And my show is for anyone that has an interest in good music, good comedy, great comedy from some of the greatest comedians of all time. Uh, so it's for everyone. But the, vi the what I'm saying is my video, videos I should say, and my show are two different entities. I am not here as a video provider. I'm not here to entertain anyone. You know, to make a complete fool of myself. Like like these fucking spear chucking monkeys that dance up and down and and these stupid fucking cunt bitches that make these stupid fucking videos and they think they're hot shit and they think they're queenies and all this shit, okay? I'll tell you something right now. They're a bunch of fucking assholes. But the concept of my video is about real life. This is real life here, okay? And I don't give a fly. I'm not here... To entertain you to be like Ringling Brothers and Barry Bailey Circuits, if anybody remembers who they were. Because as we get older, the younger people are, the stupider they are, and the and 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 they're assholes because they don't want to learn anything about the past. They should understand that learning about the past will shape their future. But they don't understand that because they're a bunch of fucking selfish, self-centered, self-absorbed douchebags. And this is real life we're talking about here. This is real life. People die. People suffer. People are homeless. People are poor. People are struggling. There's the working poor. What's the difference between the working poor and the poor, you ask? They're both poor, you stupid fucks. About gentrification. About the injustices that we have here. The, the, the border crossings and all these illegal alien cocksuckers that shouldn't be here. Our country is going down the toilet unless we have Republican leadership. Now, I think it would I, I think an ideal country would be if we had both the liberal and the right side working together to make a fantastic country where we have a little bit of this and we have a little bit of that. But they're at war right now because of one man, Trump, that they hate with a passion. Like I said, I don't want to talk about fucking politics. But if anybody out there says, Oh, Joe, you better listen boring. I tell them to go fuck their mother and their sister because I don't give a shit about their fucking opinion. This is real fucking life. And anybody out there who's mature like I am, who's of age like I am, who understands what the world was at one time, will appreciate the fact that what I'm talking about here is real life. Tragedy does happen. Ask those people down south with the fucking tornadoes that ripped apart their whole fucking community and killed 13 people. Ask them if that wasn't real life. So how dare anyone say that my videos are boring and, and whatever. Because uh, I have a few people out there on this video. I don't know if I have any friends. I guess I do. You know, uh, excuse me for not being uh, Mr. Fucking Chocolato Spear Chucking Fuck. Making those fucking stupid retarded videos like they do on TikTok. Embarrassing themselves because they got no game. They got nothing like a rock and roller. That's why I love rock and roll. Because 
from 60 years ago, rock and roll is still there. It's still there. And these fucking little dance machine queens and these fucking jerk-off losers, they only got their fucking 15 seconds of fame. And after that, you'll never hear from them again. They have no staying power because they're not talented. All they can do for 15 seconds on TikTok is go like this. Okay? Where yours truly and my culture that I represent, we are here then, now, and forever. And the rock and roll community, together. Douchebags.